Guys, Charles Oliveira fights Benil Dariush this weekend at UFC 289, and I think that the Olive era is over. Unless he gets a finish in the first round, okay? Why do I think this? I don't think that Charles Oliveira wears damage well, okay? And I've made a pros and cons list here, and I will elaborate on each point that I've made here, okay? My brain is picking Benil Dariush, and I think he'll win by finish. And it kind of seems like a lot of people think that, but I also don't want to write off Charles, okay? I know everyone is saying it, it, it's not a lock for anyone, obviously, but like a lot of people are picking Benil, and that's okay. But I can't count out my guy Oliveira yet, okay? One bad fight with Islam Makachev. It's not enough for me to write him off, okay? I still think he's one of the best lightweights of all time. His resume speaks for itself. So this would be a huge win for Benil, Benil Dariush. But I think if Oliveira wins this fight, he has to get the finish quick. Like like a performance against Justin Gaethje type quick, you know what I mean? Because I do not think he wears his damage well, guys. Even though he's been winning his fights, he gets dropped, you know what I mean? His striking defense is not all the way there. Chandler rocked him. Poirier dropped him. Gaethje dropped him, you know? Um, Islam dropped him he gets dropped guys and uh, so you can see in my pros here I have experience now neither of these guys have gone five rounds in the UFC at least which I think is interesting um, unless I'm wrong on that I just look at I just looked at their records and I was like damn that's pretty interesting but in terms of like spotlight and like big fight feel experience Oliveira you know, he obviously is a way bigger name, has a lot more experience in those championship fights. He's defended the belt, headline pay-per-view. Benil hasn't, you know what I mean? He still hasn't gotten that breakthrough win, you know what I mean? It, it would be this one. But, you know, I don't think you should get a, a title shot of, off of Gamrot and Tony Ferguson, you know what I mean? But this one, this seals the deal. So, I also have finishing ability in the pros for Oliveira because he can finish the fight anywhere it goes you know he's shown that throughout his entire career he can knock you out or submit you you know what I mean I think if he wins this fight it's gonna be by submission I don't think he would chin Benil Dariush um, but I'll get into that in a second now I put durability question marks okay because yes he is durable in that he's won his fights but the question that this fight comes down to is can Oliveira get hit you know what I mean is he gonna get hit and fall or will he stay up will the damage accumulate too much and it'll be too much for him or will he be able to keep it going and we won't know till the fight takes place obviously but so right now I have the durability as a pro but if he gets knocked down twice or three times it's not gonna be looking good now Olivera cons, poor striking defense, specifically to hooks, is what I think. You know, I think um, Gaethje, Gaethje dropped him with like an uppercut, but I still think that like Benil's left hook specifically is solid, and I think he could do something like how he knocked down Gamera to Olivera, and um, yeah, depending on how that chin of Olivera holds up, I don't know how it's gonna look. Also, for cons of Oliveira, I say may not have improved. And I say that because in his interviews, he says he hasn't even watched the Islam Makachev fight. You know what I mean? He just had a bad night. You know what I mean? But I think there's a lot there's a lot to learn in that fight for Oliveira. You know what I mean? Specifically in the striking defense. And, um, you know, hopefully his team, you know, has improved his game with him. But if he really hasn't been watching his fight back, his last fight where he lost, and he wants to beat that guy for the belt again, not again beat him, but fight him again, like, I don't like that, you know what I mean? So, I'm saying he may not have improved in the sense of, I don't know if his skills have gotten better since his last fight, okay? That's what I'm saying. 
Now for the pros of Benil Dariush, okay? I think the longer the fight goes is better for Benil. I think, you know, especially if he puts the damage on him with the left hook and chops up the legs early. I think the longer the fight goes, the more Oliveira wears the damage. It, but it's better for Benny. You know what I mean? Better for Benny. Um, like I mentioned, he has a killer left hook um, that I think could clip Oliveira. Um, I don't think he's afraid of the gra grappling. You know, if Oliveira gets dropped, I think uh, Benil will fall him to the ground, no issue, and possibly get a finish. Um, also, momentum, okay? Things like this, they make a factor, in my opinion, you know? Benil Dariush, I think seven or eight fight win streak, something crazy like that. He's got the momentum on his side. Oliveira's been champion. He's been defended the belt, you know what I mean? Now, the cons for Benil Dariush, okay? He has been KO'd by Alexander Hernandez it, quick, like in the first minute, and Edson Barbosa flying need him. I also want to say, I think it's a po possibility Oliveira flying knees Dariush. I think that same sequence can happen again. Like, I think, uh, I, I think Charles has a great knee that would work in this situation rambling anyways he's been KO'd you know he's been finished so is Oliveira but Oliveira if he gets that pressure going and like his defense is looking good I would have to favor him I also don't think that Benil Dariush is the best in a war situation um in terms of just like a tough fight I think Oliveira throughout his career has definitely shown more heart not saying Benny doesn't have it but he hasn't really had to perform to it. You know what I mean? If this is a war and he gets the win, I'm going to remove that. You know what I mean? From my opinion of him. <laughs> but ultimately in this fight, I think it's going to be Benil Dariush. Maybe maybe a decision or maybe a third round finish. Um, and I think if Olivero wins, it's going to have to be super quick. I, I'm really hoping Olivero wins. I, I like him a lot more. I'd rather hear him on the microphone speaking Portuguese and me not understand it than Benil Dariush being like, I love Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just like Olivera more. Somehow I relate to him. Um, but, again, the brain says Benil Dariush. So that's what I'm going to have to lean towards. That is my official prediction for this fight. Now, the other fight on this card that matters. Amanda Nunez, I think, is going to win a decision. Okay. I'll see you all in the next one.